Someday we'll make it on the high. <laughs> Other days we only can try. Either way, no matter what people say. Either way. Welcome to the giveaway. In this series, Team AD fish to win you Angling Direct gift vouchers. In every single episode, one lucky subscriber will win at least £100. The concept is simple, a challenge will be set. If we fail, you win the £100, but if we pass, we will double the vouchers to £200. So, what do you need to do? Firstly, sit back and enjoy the video. Secondly, you must be subscribed to our ADTV YouTube channel and then comment the giveaway in the comment section below. We're going to randomly select a subscriber from the comments below and then we'll announce that winner in the next episode of the giveaway. The rest is up to us. Can we double your money? Let's see. Well, hello and welcome to episode seven of the giveaway where you've got myself and Mr. Spinks, the guru of fishing, trying to win one of our lucky subscribers, 200 pounds of Angling Direct vouchers. Now, behind us is the River Trent, full of big barbel. And yes, that is the aim of the game. We're here to catch a double figure barbel. It's 100 pounds if we fail, and to double it, we've got to catch a double. So, I think we should get the stuff out of the van, but before we do that, let's pick a winner of episode six, where Widget, behind the camera is film us today. He did a hangman challenge for carp, absolutely smashed it. I hope you enjoyed that. And we did pick a lucky winner to win 200 pounds. And that person is, I'll leave it just here. If you could just email us from the email address at the bottom of the screen, and we'll arrange your 200 pounds to be sent out. So like I said a minute ago, let's get some stuff out the van, crack on and try and catch a barbel. Let's go fishing. Well, when it comes to catching double figure barbel, for me, there's one river that stands head and shoulders above the rest, and that's the River Trent. The River Trent has probably got more double figure barbel than lots of the other rivers in the UK added together. So that's exactly why we've come here. And we've had a walk along the river, and typically there's one really barbly looking double S bend, and we both fancied that bend. And as there's only one swim that commands that bend, rather than spread out and have one of us on fish and one of us potentially not on the fish, we're gonna double up on the bend, we're gonna cut back to just three rods rather than four rods, and we're gonna take turns on the bikes. It doesn't matter who catches a double, we just wanna do our very best to catch a double figure fish between us, double your money so you can win 200 pounds. Well, there we go, that's all three rods done. Two on the main stretch of the river, what we're gonna concentrate on, and then we've just put this little sneaky third one just down on the crease a bit further down the river. So that way we don't overcrowd the swim with too many rods and uh, we're fishing. So if you're thinking about coming to the River Trent, it's a rather large river, it's also tidal, so you need to up your tackle and the rod to fish for these barbels. Now we're fishing with 12 foot rods, I'm fishing with two and a quarter, Phil's fishing with two and a half, and therefore we've got big rods to cope with the big rivers. Coupled that with bait runner reels, 15 pound line, four ounce feeders, and four foot of 10 or 12 pound mono with either 10 mil boilies or about an eight mil pellet. We'll see which one works best. But with that, we're constantly loading the feeders, recasting them, and also keep the bait going in with bait droppers as well. Now, if we do that, hopefully we can draw some barbel into the swim and we get those bite alarms singing and try and get a few barbel for the camera. Go on in, Widget. What do you want? Right, so <laughs> I've had enough of you two arguing about what swim's going in. You've both been the same swim. We need to know who's going first. Okay. So in my hand, technical draw. I've got two boilies or one. Chris, you can pick it. If you get it right, you have the first bite. If you get it wrong, of course. The first bite. Simples. It is. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry for <laughs> uh, One. Two. Ah! Oh, right. Good job you didn't choose me. I actually saw you pick two boilies. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you it was a good job you didn't ask him. <laughs> All the honesty there. Right. Savage. Uh, you're first, Phil. You can have a sweet because uh, oh, I'll cheer you up. Runners up Cheers, for mate. Thanks, mate. There you go. Oh. Oh, go on, Wait, 
You're not first. <laughs> I know, but I was, about, I was just literally about to put some more bait droppers in. Phil's up there setting his brolly up. I've got an absolute one-toner, so I've stolen <laughs> Philip's fish. Uh, so yeah, we're away with the first fish, but we have got kind of a half reeled in rod literally laying in the margin. So hopefully I won't cause us any dramas, but yeah, it feels all right to be fair. Yes, please, it's half reeled in. Sharon is caring. Sharon is caring. Told you it was half reeled in. <laughs> I've stolen your fish, Philip. Mine? I was a bit busy. Yeah, it was literally ripping off right in front of me, so I took the opportunity just to um, grab it. It's our fish. Our fish. It's not a double. It's not a double. I can see it's not a double. That's good. No, it's a start. from the bite it was going to be a little one that's why i let you have it <laughs> yeah yeah but that is a good start as you say philip first thing we've got to do is get a bite exactly then we can move up and get some bigger ones so this one has landed that was uh, your go first so now i enjoyed that yeah did you have really good fun <laughs> now it's my go and hopefully that'll be a bit bigger letting these barbel sort of get their breath back before you let them go is a must because they do fight really hard and you don't want to just push them out unless they're ready. And this one, he seems to be ready. Bye-bye. Okay, so a really important thing to talk about is bait and application. Now on these big tidal rivers, bait is real key. Now I see a lot of people come to the trend and they cast out sort of carp style and sort of sit back in their brollies and just hope that it's gonna happen. And yeah, that will happen from time to time. But learning from the master of Mr. Spinks, keep casting those feeders, keep the bait running through the swim, and that hopefully will attract the barbel into the swim. Now, don't panic, you can keep baiting. It's not gonna put the fish off because things like times of the day, the tide, high tide, low tides, all make a difference. Now, high tide, generally a good time to be barbel fishing. Coming into the evening as well, if they can marry up, you're on for a win. So don't panic, keep casting the feeders, keep the bait going in, and hopefully, well, not hopefully, they will, the barbel will turn up and you'll catch some. We were then contemplating getting the bait dropper out and putting a little bit more bait in the swim, but maybe we don't need to. It's now coming in, the light's starting to fade a little bit and one of the other rods has ripped off. So it's my turn now. Who knows how big it is? Sometimes you just can't tell on this river. Anyone wondering what that noise is, Phil? You need to tell them. Chris <laughs> yeah, I've got a head. drone above my head at the minute, so the, the joys of filming and fishing. Are you going to be McGilly? Yeah. About the same size as the other one, I think. Yeah. But, whoa. They're getting bigger. Well, thank you, Chris. That's bite number two, and they're heading in the right direction. It's a tiny little bit bigger, I think. Nowhere near a double, but another bite. <laughs> Absolutely, you look like an absolute giant. <laughs> it is like fishing with an avatar when you go fishing with Chris. He's, uh, well, Philip's just so small, and I'm just I'm not. No I'm normal sized. You're unhealthily big. What about this for size? Is this normal size? Not for Not this really. river. It's nice and we're pleased to catch it and it's progress, but we're gonna catch bigger than this. We are, so yeah. Let's get it back, recast, wait for the next. And it's my go. That's burger time for me. You have a burger, I'll catch a bigger barbel. Go on, Phil, what you got? Gone from the a la carte menu, we've got a Rustler's burger. <laughs> right, that needs no more attention. What's on the mental for Ansel? What's on the mental for Ansel? <laughs> I've got chicken rats <laughs> with you. Rewind, okay. rewind. What's on the menu for Ansel? Chicken rats, my friend. Look, two wraps, mm. mayonnaise, a bit of lettuce. Can't complain. A little bit better than Phil's, but not really. 
absolutely only one winner of the cook-off tonight. Crusty rolls, melted cheese, chicken burgers, lettuce, mayo, times two. And if anyone catches one in the next five minutes, well, I'm simply not interested. I'm a man true to my word, a fish in the net, not film. Ah, uh, yes, you, you were chowing down on your cheese, but, uh, <laughs> cheeseburger, chicken burger, I should say. And this little fella made an appearance on the single rod, which we've just got placed down the side there. But Phil is currently getting his charger out of the van. So I'm going to be a sneaky little devil. And I'm just going to slip this fella back, pretend we haven't caught one, <laughs> and I get another go. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I need to do this nice and safely. So let me see if I can just have a little look at it. There he is. Oh, he's quite lively. He's only probably, probably still, probably the biggest one yet, but still only a baby. He's definitely ready to go. See? <laughs> there we go. Right, quick. Hide the evidence. <laughs> Well, it was really nice to get a couple of bites during the afternoon because sometimes that daytime fishing can be quite quiet, but it's been quiet now for a couple of hours, but now's the time. We're now coming into the evening. The sun is now setting behind me. I believe high tide is about 10 o'clock tonight. So a combination of that high water and the light values in the evening, I'm sure that's going to switch the barbell on. So hence, I'm now tying a few little PVA bags. Sometimes I like to fish the feeder and nick one of these little bags on the hook to fish as efficiently as I can and make the most of these bite times. State of my fingers. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a bit of a 50 a day smoke game. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's get it out. There we go, would you? He's not too bad. They are definitely, definitely getting bigger. I'm going to give myself six and a half, possibly oh, seven. Seven for that, for sure. Oh, thank you very much. It's not 10, so it doesn't really matter, but they are getting bigger. And this was on a recast because we had a bit of an occurrence. Uh, don't know what it was, but yeah, had to do a recast, changed to a little yellow hook bait. And that just went pretty much straight away. So they do seem to be doing the ones then. Couldn't get a bite on them last time, but this time, yellow for the win. But let's get it back. Phil's already recast that rod, because Phil's next on the old barbel hunt. Hopefully, he can get one a little bit bigger, and we keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger until we catch that double pound. Double pound? Double, double pound, figure. Double pounder. <laughs> double pounder. Oh, I'm always thinking about food. <laughs> Whenever he's ready. Which is now. Right, Philip. It's your turn, mate. I'm going to bed. I'm going back to bed as well. Good luck, Phil. Right then, what's going on? Very tired. Oh, we're, 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 we're tired or we're tired? <laughs> we're, a bit, very tired. we're a bit blurry eyed. We, we, oh, hold Don't that drop. <laughs> I literally no. was about to say that my one's going to go in 10 minutes. There you go. No, no, no. Is it happening? What's going on? It's on there. Well, you couldn't make that up. I told you, Philip. <laughs> well, I never, I never specified what species. <laughs> Feels a bit chub like. Carry on with your morning update. My morning update is it was an unusually quiet night, other than that barbel that Chris had at. I don't know about. That big weed bed there. About one in the morning. What have we got here? Could be Roachzilla. It's a little barbel, isn't it? Is it? 
<laughs> oh, no, as if that's your go. <laughs> I'm going to help you. What a waste of a go. <laughs> I will get ready to tell you about our night. Oh, yes, no. no. Back to Chris Moore. <laughs> <laughs> Surely that's rarer than a double, that one. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> the feed is heavier than the fish, it was pulling it out of the net. Well, I don't think that's quite a double, that one. <laughs> It'll keep still. Probably rarer than a double on the Trent. And we did big the river up and say how big the barbel are in the River Trent. Oh, whoa. whoa. I was about to say, basically, you promised me big barbel on this trip that's why i came and said i'd feel it <laughs> hang on that hang work? that's a bit bigger <laughs> oh. oh well it's your go chris whoa <laughs> go and grow there we go and i've managed to keep my tea the whole time <laughs> right let's have morning update number two then please well morning update number two as i was then trying to say it was an unusually quiet night other than chris's fish at probably it's about half past one in the morning. Something perhaps? like that, yeah. It was very early in the morning or very late at night. We lost another one, didn't we? Did hook another one and the, the hook link parted somehow. Maybe it rubbed on the rocks out there. Um, and we had a little bit of bother with keeping hook baits on. I think there might have been some mitten crabs about the whole hair rig was being cut off at times. But we've been up bright and early this morning. We've refreshed the rods. We're obviously in with a chance. Although that was a very small barbel, it was a bite. Yeah, and they're all fishing nice and neat. But you're back on the rods. Yes. Um, I had a funny feeling that was going to go because it just went out lovely, perfect in the spot, and it did. So I reckon it'll go again. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Patience has got the better of me. Not a lot was happening up there for me and Chris, so I've decided to move about 100 yards downriver to this lovely looking swim where I've got a deep glide underneath my feet. That gives Chris a little bit more freedom to fish two rods on his own up there and explore that swim properly. And then a new swim for me sort of refreshes my enthusiasm and hopefully means I can get a bite. We are now facing quite challenging conditions. We're at low tide, it's very clear water, and we've been having quite a bit of clear blue sky. So that can be quite tough for the river, but it's not impossible. So I'm gonna go in quite softly in this swim. I'm not gonna put any bait droppers out. I'm just gonna recast those feeders about every 20 minutes. I'm also gonna nick those little mesh bags of boily crumb and pellet for those tiny little wafters, to see if I can scratch a bite. And it might just be that barbel that we want. Just in time. Just in time. Good man, Philip. Bit of a mover swims. And I bite quite quickly. I was going to say, you've not been here long, have you? Well, I said, I thought I'd recast them after 20 minutes. I was then about to recast it and off it goes. It's not a very friendly swim, this, for a videographer. <laughs> or a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> right, well. We'll have a quick look and get the rods back out. Well done. Yeah, there's going to be a bigger one there. Well, there we go. I think that was a combination of the move of swims, that nice, neat little waft, the hook bait and the PVA bag, and that's lifted my confidence. So perhaps it's not the only one in this swim. I'd only been out there about 20 minutes and the rod ripped off. So I could be a step closer to that elusive double that we need. Clearly, splitting up was an advantage, but a videographer's nightmare. They're about a hundred yards apart, and I'm not very fit anymore. <sighs> right. Hello. What's going on here then? I had a melter. I was just filming Phil with one. <sighs> had a melter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Phil's oh. wasn't very big. His was about five pound. So. Oh, that's Phil actually setting his alarm now. Can hear. Yeah, well, this one's holding its ground. It's hard to tell, really, in this current. I don't know if it's any, any bigger than five. It's not good not. for my fitness, this. No, it's good for you. Yeah. <laughs> She's 
didn't. There we go. Barbel number three of the morning. Really cool fish. They make funny little noises. If you've never caught a barbel, they hiccup and burp and, and whatnot. But yeah, real smart fish. You can see why they fight so hard in this current. They've got like wings as fins and they just sort of open them up and use the downforce with the flow. And that's why they feel a lot bigger when you plan them. But cool fish all the same. And they're still in the swim having a feast. So I did kind of wipe my other rod out. So I need to recast that one and recast this one with a nice fresh hook link. And hopefully we can see those bite alarms keep on singing and hopefully they'll get a little bit bigger. There we go, he's about ready now. But you see those pecs there like that, how he's tilting them up just like a plane wing, holds current when you're playing him. And they feel massive, but he's pretty much ready to go. There he goes. Yeah, impressive creatures. There we go, just a smidgen over seven pound, getting a little bit bigger. Well done, Phil. What's going on? I've another one. You're on fire. Well, we've got to get it in for me to be on fire. It's a bit windy now. You want the moon on a stick, you videographers. <laughs> that was pulling some line when I got oh, it. Oh, it's really different. I really want that other rod in, to be honest. But... Do you want me to get the other rod in? Yeah, just because it does feel Okay good. then. I'll make use of this. Are you over or under it? You just reel straight in. What oh, awful there? Please be a double. Yep. Come on. I'm not gonna stab at it. This is worth a hundred pounds. That's a double. Whoa, I'm not whoa, stabbing, whoa. I'm stabbing. Stab now if you like. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good name. That's the one. That's it? a double. Well done, Phil. Thank you. Relax. <laughs> Never been so nervous. <laughs> it's supposed to be the cool one here. Widget's not a nine pounder. He says. Came out worryingly easy. <laughs> okay. Yes. Are we ready? Yes. No, it's still. <laughs> 11.7. What is it? 11.7, <laughs> I think, isn't it? 11.7. It's, I can see it's 11 and a half ish. Yeah, just half. under, just under 11. Yeah, it's 11.7, yeah. It's 200 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> 200 pounds. <laughs> yes. Well done, well done. Nice. Um, should we hop up there where it's not so slopey? Yeah. Keep it out, I'll take the water. Yeah, we're going to get some fish well, there we go. We got there in the end, Chris, Yay. after numerous five to six pounders. <laughs> We've actually caught one, which we can say is a big barbel. It's a 200 pounder. It's a 200 pounder. <laughs> <laughs> to one lucky subscriber, it's a 200 pounder worth of angling direct vouchers. All you've got to do, remember, subscribe to the channel, write the giveaway in the comment section below for your chance to win 200 pounds of AD vouchers. We'll announce the winner 
on the next episode but i think we need to get this big bad boy back in the trend get it back now yeah and it's time for us to hit the road so we'll see you on the next episode of the giveaway well done you two thank Cheers. you bye